Hello friends, in this session we are going to take up one more relational algebra gate question which which have come twice basically in the previous years. It has repeated twice basically. First of all it came in gate 2004 and then it came in gate 2012. So it has come twice and it is a very simple question. So basically I think the examiner wants to check your knowledge about the foreign key and the primary key concept. So we'll just solve this question and see what is important in this question that it has repeated twice, right? It has come twice in the previous years. So the question is basically uh, taking up some a combination of concepts, the concepts uh, dealing, it, uh, dealing with it are foreign key join and minus operator. The question is let R1 A, B, C and R2 D, E be two relational schema where the primary keys are shown underlined. So the primary key in R1 is A and the primary key in R2 is D. And let C be a foreign key in R1 referring to R2. Right. Now that means C is a foreign key and what will it refer to? It will refer to some attribute in R2. And what is the primary key in R2? It is D. So that means C is clearly a subset of D. Fine. Now let's move on. Which one of the following relational algebra expressions would necessarily produce an empty relation? So this is very simple. Now if I just uh, plot or if I just figureize this concept, it will be D is a superset to C. So this is D and this is C. Now when will an empty relation be produced? Obviously when I will be subtracting the C from D. Uh, sorry, very sorry. It will be when I will be subtracting this, this D from C. Since I cannot subtract D from C. So when I write a minus operates operation in this form. Right, when I say C minus D. What does it mean? It means that I am subtracting all the records which are common to C and D from C. Now C since had only the common records. So if I subtract all the common records, what will be I what will be I left with? I'll be left with an empty set. Right. So it is a very, very simple concept. So it's just checking this uh, understanding of yours that if you subtract all the common entries, all the common entries are C since it is a subset. So if you subtract all the common entries that too from the smaller set, right? That too from the C set, you will be left with an empty set. So the answer is straight away B. Please mark it directly B. And this the same question with minute change uh, in uh, repeated in gate 2012 over there they had given two relational schemas, two binary relational schemas basically. So it was uh, uh, one way simpler, but it came as a two mark question. So two marks means a lot in gate, right? So please uh, examine the question again. And in case you have any problem or any doubt regarding uh, the question or in any of the questions related to gate, you are free to post them as comments in the comment section below. In case you like the video, please like it. And I'll be taking up some more questions of relational algebra in upcoming videos. So please keep following the channel and please keep following it for more good work coming up. Thank you.